everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. So Taurus, let's check out your cards for the week starting the 5th of December. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy here is the card, the Four of Coins. Now, this is the card of extremes. This is the card of too much or too little. So very much this week, be mindful of work-life balance. Make sure your finances are balanced. Make sure when you're giving time to others that you balance that with time for yourself. So an overall card for you this week of mindfulness, of balance and avoiding extremes of too much or too little. Your help or your hurdle, card five, unity, is all about working well together. This is about teams. This is about collaborating with other people. This is about conversations. And this is about everybody working together for the benefit of everybody else. So it could be mentoring or teaching as well. So bear in mind, look, each one of our lovely angels here, Bring something different to the table for the benefit of everybody. So definitely a card of collaboration, meetings, mentoring and working as a team. Your guidance here, the, the Knight of Coins, sorry, is the card of planning. This is the card of plan A, plan B and if necessary, plan C. Now, the knights are very much the speedy people of the tarot. It's a very fast moving energy. They all have motorbikes. And the knight of coins is the only one not riding theirs because they're studying the map. So that when they are ready, not only will they get back on the bike, they'll know exactly where they are going, and more importantly, how to get there. So this week is very much a week of planning for you, making plans, making sure that the next steps that you want to take are in order and you know exactly where you're going and exactly how to get there. How can we help ourselves? The life experience card is beautiful. This says time to make those positive changes now. Learn from experience. Now, our lovely angel here, look, the sand castle that she built, just trying to get that into focus, there we are, is washing away. But she's taking with her all the pearls of wisdom and making those positive changes. And that's just what you're asked to be mindful of doing this week. These positive changes, when you've got them into a plan, can really help you get moving forward. And here's the, the angels again with another little nudge about planning. This card here, pulling it all together, is the emperor, Mr. Planning or Mrs. Planning and organisation personified. The emperor is ready to go at the drop of a hat because Everything is in place. Showing these leadership qualities, they are ready. So it's like a double message here. Get your plans in place. Get organised. Step up into this leadership role. And the final outcome card is beautiful. The page of teacups. Now, the pages are messengers. They bring messages. And the page of teacups brings messages of a positive emotional nature. Happiness, joy, optimism. It can also be some body coming into your life in those initial stages, bringing in love and happiness and joy. So just to summarise the teacup tarot cards, be mindful of extremes of too much and too little this week in work life, in home life, and in financial life. Work together in teams, 
have those conversations and collaborations. Get yourselves a detailed plan together. Get organised. Step up into this leadership role. Be ready to make those positive changes because beautiful, positive emotions and messages of that nature will be coming in to find you this week. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Five of Action says if there's any drama going on for anybody else this week, leave it where it is. Don't get involved in it. Stay positive and keep moving forward in the direction that you would like to go. The Ten of Action says enjoy some me time. Take a break. Do what the angel's doing on the card here. Look, she's having a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. And she's reading a book called Time to Relax. So it's lovely that it's fallen next to the four of coins here. This is work-life balance in one card. Just make sure you get that in balance this week. The six of life brings gifts of abundance. These are things very much that you might have been hoping for or working towards. And the six of life says, look out for them because they could well be here for you this week. So that could be a pay rise, a new job, a new career. It could be a promotion even coming in. So stay awake for that. This could be some lovely new gifts coming in for you this week. The three of life says working in a team, being a good team member, being brilliant at what you do can work well. And here it is echoing the very thing that the unity card says. Working as a team, working together can bring the success that you're seeking. The four of action says time for you to say thank you. Express gratitude. This is you being appreciated for everything you do and all that you are. Look, she's got a thank you balloon and a lovely bunch of flowers. She's receiving with grace and gratitude. And this could well be connected to the four of coins, giving and receiving, receiving with grace, saying, and you being appreciated. That's a lovely, lovely energy coming in this week for you. And the four of life card, we've got three fours. That's lovely. It's an angel number, four, four, four. I absolutely love it. This card says it's time to make balanced decisions. It's the same card from a different deck. So a double message for you, Taurus, this week. Careful, balanced decisions. Situations, like I said before, too much or too little, get your life into balance, get your finances into balance, receive with grace and gratitude. And this lovely card of positive, loving emotions and messages of that nature coming in to find you. So remember, working together in teams, get your plans together, get them in place, time for these positive changes and time for you to receive with grace and gratitude. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's fantastic when you do. It really is helpful for me too. Then you'll get notified when I do the next ones for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.